Hello everybody, this is Proud. I want to welcome you to Season 1, Episode 1 of ComCraft. I wanted to do a little introduction here. I'm actually recording this after I've already recorded a lot of the clips for um, this first episode. Um, just to give you guys a little intro and talk to you a little bit. So, um, this series, uh, we're going to find out, uh, I would imagine pretty quickly, that I have no clue what I'm doing. I've never done a Let's Play series before. Didn't really think about doing one until I started playing on the server, and I figured, hey, why not? I'm going to record it, I'll throw it on YouTube, and hopefully people enjoy. Um, we're going to do a lot of learning together. Um, I've been playing Minecraft for about a year now, but I've always just played with my wife and kids. My wife's idea of playing is to go and fix up villages and then move on to the next one over and over and over again. And my kid's idea of playing is to switch between worlds about every 7.2 seconds. So I wanted to have something a little bit more stable, and um, this is it. So uh, we're going to go through this together. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to... Uh, hopefully get me a little bit better at Minecraft, um, especially when it comes to completing builds. Um, that's really my goal this season. I want to, you know, I've in my single player worlds, I've had fun making farms. And if you've seen any of my tutorial videos, I feel like I'm decent at that. Um, but I've never really had to uh, dress up any of those builds. I've never had to really establish myself somewhere. So I thought this would be really fun to do together and be a learning experience. And um, I'm sure there'll be some bumps along the way, but it should be a good time. Um, the ComCraft server is people that are, I think mostly in my demographic, like we're, you know, kind of middle-aged. I'm in my mid-30s myself. Um, I have a couple of kids. I'm married. I work a full-time job. I take classes online. So my lifestyle is kind of just go, 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 busy all the time. Um, but at the same time, I do like to have fun. I like to play Minecraft. I like to relax. So um, everybody on here is kind of generally in that same situation, not like hardcore, play Minecraft full-time, eight, ten hours a day every day. That's not what the server's about. So um, I thought it was a perfect fit for me. I think it's going to be a really good time. Um, and just a very short background of myself before we jump into the intro here. Um, I am a, a long-time gamer, although I've only been playing Minecraft for about, uh, like I said, roughly a year now. Um, you know, back when I was growing up and in the days of 56K modems, for those of you that even know what those are, um, that that's my that's my background. I, I grew up playing uh, online multiplayer Quake 2 and and Counter Strike. I like playing real time strategy games like the Age of Empire series and StarCraft and Diablo, uh, Diablo One, Diablo Two, and um, even played some multiplayer um, massive multiplayer games online like a little bit of Warcraft and a lot of Dark Age of Camelot. So um, I definitely have had my fair share of gaming throughout my lifetime. And I just enjoy Minecraft a lot now. It's just the open platform and just being able to do whatever it is I want to do, however I want to do it at my own pace, uh, is, is just really fun. And it's kind of cool that I can play the Bedrock Edition here. That's what this series is. It's on Bedrock because I can play with the kids and play with the wife. They play on My kids play on their Switch and my wife plays on her on our um, Xbox. And I'm playing this on my PC on uh, Windows 10 Edition. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the intro here. I hope you guys enjoy the episode for all, like, probably two of you that decide to watch it. But um, regardless of who watches it, I hope we have a good time. And, um, yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be fun to kind of see where this whole thing leads. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the official intro. Hello, everybody. Prowl here, and I'm in a little bit different situation with you guys today. Um, I am playing on a... A multiplayer realm called Comcraft. This is season one of Comcraft, and uh, as you can see, I've gotten started just a little bit here, not too much. I'm about to die right now. I'm gonna have to get away from this guy, eat some food. And um, I'm looking for a base area to set up. I've searched around a lot, as you can see by the things I've gathered. And this guy has an enchanted shovel. And I want that. I don't know what it has on it, but it's better than what I have. And he didn't even drop it. Okay. So, anyways, we're heading to. Coordinates negative 1, 2, 2, 1, and negative 370. So, it's in this direction. And um, I did a lot of searching, and uh, I found the area where I would like to set up my uh, first base, and maybe my permanent base, depending on how things go. Uh, I've never done a uh, SMP 
uh, online before with anybody. I've always just played with the kids, so this is a little bit of a new experience for me. And I uh, don't really know a whole lot of what I'm doing here, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to find a base area. We're going to get all set up. And uh, we're going to build this thing up together and see how, uh, see how it goes, see how it works out. And I think we're coming up on it now, actually. It's kind of scary out here at nighttime. Okay, here is the location of our base. So I checked this out in uh, Creative on on the same seed. This is how I found it. I tried to do it the hard way at first and just walked around in survival mode and after about an hour and a half of that I got tired of it and um, yeah this is what I found. We're gonna build in this ravine right here. Uh, a couple nice features to it. I wanted to have something that went into a mountain um, so that way I could use the mountain as well for a base so um, this will definitely do. Um, it's a pretty big and deep ravine so I like that. It doesn't have too much stuff down there and I believe somewhere, it's on one of the sides, this side or this side over here, I can't remember. But there's a spider spawner, which was an added little bonus. And uh, somewhere off in the distance, I think up there, there are some uh, dark oak wood trees. And uh, I like dark oak wood a lot, if for no other reason than it's an easy way to get a whole lot of wood. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to figure out exactly how I'm going to get set up in here. And... Um, We'll go ahead and come back once I have a basic layout figured out, and maybe I'll fix that. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back, guys. All right, so I think I found the spot that we're going to set up base here. Uh, we got the ravine right here, and I didn't want to just jump down there right away. I wanted an easy way to get up and down from the top, so I was just kind of looking around. Uh, first, I saw we got some ice over there, too. That could be uh, useful at some point. But somewhere back here, I saw a little cave system that looks like it'll probably lead me into the ravine if I try, uh, explore it some. Was it this? I don't think it was that. Where did it go? Is it down here? Um, no, this wasn't it, but let me see what this is. Ah, okay. So I think if we follow this through, this will probably, this has got to be close to the ravine. I think we're going to start out in here. What's down here? Got some iron and some charcoal. We'll go ahead and gather some of that too while we're down here. Oh god. Alright. We don't want to die like that. That would be a little embarrassing. Okay, so let's get some coal. That way we can torch this place up and make it our home. Alright. Break through there. Okay, and I think this way was out. Yeah, so there's light over there. And then, okay, and there's light over here too. Okay, I like this. This looks like a good place to set up shops. So, uh, first thing is, uh, let's get ourselves a little bit extra room over here. And, alright, so let's put down our furnace. Let's put down our crafting bench. Let's go ahead and just get this thing going. I think we got some iron still to smelt. Get that guy going, and we'll take half of that. Let's make some more sticks, and let's make a bunch of torches. There we go. All right, let's light this place up a little bit, make it a little bit more homey, and a little bit less dangerous would probably be a good idea too. And what I'm thinking we're going to do here, once we get this place lit up pretty decent in all the areas that I'm worried about uh, mobs coming in, 
is uh, we're going to go back up there. We're going to get some chests set up so we can unload my full inventory here. And uh, we're going to start to get a couple little farms set up. Uh, nothing automated, just some basic things uh, so we can get some crops growing, uh, have a source of food, and uh, just get a little, little bit better organized so we can kind of figure out what the next steps are going to be and uh, kind of get ready to do a little bit of caving and get some materials. We need some iron. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any armor on, so this gold helmet that I found on a skeleton or a zombie or something is the only thing I have. Uh, so we need to protect ourselves a little bit better. So uh, I'm just going to take a few moments here to make sure this whole thing is lit up and then uh, get a couple things set up and then we'll be back to take a look at the progress. Alright guys, going to do a little uh, progress update here. Uh, I'm about to head off to work for the day, but I kind of want to let everybody see uh, what we've got worked on so far, what we've done. Uh, so just got a couple chests set up here, starting to get some materials together uh, for building and just other random things. Uh, as you'll see there, I got a couple chests set up, nothing spectacular quite yet. Uh, I got a little farm area set up, a uh, few pieces of wheat growing there. Again, nothing crazy. Uh, we need to go out and find some potatoes or carrots or something. I may check with other one of the other com crafters here. I'm the only one on right now at this time, so uh, nobody to really check with or go find. Um... This is the entrance we were using, or exit we were using. Uh, we got a bed set up. It's turning to nighttime now, so let's go to sleep real quick. And one of the main things I just wanted to get done uh, as soon as I could was a path to the ravine. Uh, so I dug my way down and over, and uh, we did find our way over there. Um, so eventually we'll start kind of working towards this direction once we get settled in. And uh, figure out what we're going to do with this place. I don't really, I don't really know for sure yet, but I, I imagine like a whole bunch of like little, like different cave systems that have different things kind of set up throughout different areas of the ravine and uh, decorating it with some stone work, especially with the new blocks they have coming out. Maybe a couple little bridges going across. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. This is just what I have in my head now. This could change a whole lot. Or who, who really knows? Again, this is my first time kind of. Uh, going through and figuring all this out for myself in the past I've always just played with the kids and they bounce around worlds faster than you can even imagine so I've never really got to stay established too long in one area this will be a nice little change for me um, but this is going to be it for right now uh, again like I said I got to go off to work I'll probably work on this a little bit tonight when I get home and um, I'll give you guys a progress update soon to let you know how it's going and we are back I'm uh, just going to do another quick progress update with everybody. Um, I haven't really, I guess, gotten too far in terms of progress of what I've done. You can see we've got, um, finally got the wheat going. For now, this is just my, my source of food. I'll probably upgrade to, I don't know, chicken, or maybe I'll get a little uh, cow farm or something going in here in a little bit. But uh, this is just quick and easy. Uh, so we've got some wheat going. I uh, still haven't found any carrots or potatoes yet. Real, haven't really gone looking for them. Uh, we did get some pumpkins and uh, melons going. Uh, I imagine I'm probably going to be using these for villager trading. Uh, some of the other comp crafters have uh, some villagers in different areas with uh, mending and other nice things I would I would like to have. Um, we did find our first diamonds. I haven't done anything with them yet because I don't really have any levels to enchant it or anything so we're, we're gonna be doing that soon we definitely need a diamond pickaxe especially lots of iron uh, just kinda like got a good solid start on materials that's like a junk chest this is another chest I'm still working on sorting um, but as you can see we're starting to get organized here uh, get some decent materials going didn't mean to pick that up um, dark oak is just by, been my source of wood for now. Uh, no particular reason. It was just close by. I can craft a, or chop a lot of it all at once. Here you can see I just have some trees planted. Uh, that way I can use it for sticks, chests, and whatever other things I may need. Um, haven't really quite decided what all materials we're going to use. Um, and actually I haven't even decided if we're going to keep this place or not, to be honest with you. Um, I did build another way out of here. Um, in the last clip, we set up a way to get into the ravine, and I think that's one of the next things, like, structurally I'm going to do is just build, like, maybe a little stairway to kind of get it up and down throughout there so we can, you know, get around a little bit easier and kind of get started on doing some things in there. Um, and then over here, is it over here? Yeah, over here I got some sugar cane started. 
uh, just so we can get some sugar cane when needed. And I planted a whole bunch of kelp down here, and I'm just waiting for that to grow all the way up, and I'll harvest it. Actually, we'll probably just go ahead and harvest it right now. Why not? Kind of drowned pretty quick here, so I got to be quick. The kelp is so fun to do. All right, here we go. Almost. I need some air. Um, I think that is a trident guy trying to kill me. I need to get away before I die. Holy crap. God, those guys hurt. We need to get him up here so we can kill him. Here he is. Here he comes. I'm not fighting him underwater. He'll own me. Come on. Alright. Just need some health now. Can I get some health, please? Alright. Just letting our hearts get up and we're going to go after him. I think we can get him. Let's give it a shot here. Oh god. Oh god. Don't die. Don't die. Alright. Let me get this guy out the way. I want my kelp. Alright. Here we go. We're just going for it. Alright. Here we go. Ooh. And we got a trident. Uh, for anybody that watches the uh, watches anybody who plays Java, don't get too excited. Tridents are actually really common in the uh, Bedrock Edition, so but it's nice to have. We'll have to get it enchanted up at some point. And there we go. I'm drowning per usual. All right, let's get our kelp here. All right, so I'm just going to gather up this kelp. I'm uh, going to go uh, start smelting it because I'm trying to get some kelp going for a fuel source. And then, um, I don't know what the next plan is. I guess I'm going to go through and uh, probably do a little bit of mining. I want to get some diamonds and maybe we'll try to get some, uh, some diamond tools set up. So, um, I'll see you guys on the other side again. Alright guys, we are back again. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at some of the progress here. Once I throw this kelp in the oven just so I can get some more kelp blocks made. Um, but I think we've made we've made a, a decent amount of progress here. Um, I am going to show you what we've gotten going uh, with the farms, and I've started to set a little bit of the structure up in the ravine too. Um, so you see, we got the wheat going um, all the way here. We got the room filled. I'll probably expand it, make it a little bit larger, and um, we got some decent uh, croppage going here, so to speak. I uh, got a decent amount of wheat and. Um, make that into some bread or maybe I'll take it to trade or something like that. Um, our materials have grown. Uh, we got a decent amount of cobble now. Uh, starting to get some of the other uh, stones, gravel, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. We're not going to go through all of those. Um, the pumpkins and melons have been growing at a decent rate. So it's going to go ahead and let's go ahead and chop these up real quick so they can keep growing. I haven't decided what our first automated farm is going to be, but I'm, I'm really leaning towards doing a uh, pumpkin farm since those are one of the best things to trade um, when it comes to villagers. So we'll probably do pumpkin and then maybe we'll do like carrot and, or potato or something like that later. Um, I did get a portal set up to the nether, although it is linked to somebody else's portal. So that's going to be one of my next things to do is just get that linked up properly to where I need to be set up. Um, but first, I'm just going to show you guys the process, the progress that we've made out here. And I've just been thinking a little bit more about what we're going to do. Um, so if I look down here, you'll see that, well, first of all, it's lit up, lit up a little bit. And you see where I've started to make some walkways um, in different areas. So um, I, I'm, I'm a little undecided on exactly what I want to do, but I do have a better vision for what I want to do. Um, oh, by the way, when we were exploring down here and I was doing some mining, I found that not only do we have, I think this side is the spider spawner, but on the other opposite side, there's a skeleton spawner. Um, it is a shame they weren't close enough together to run both, but it's nice to have both of them over here so I don't have to worry about string and, and bone meal and, you know, whatever. I got it all right here in my base. That's pretty cool. Um, but it's essentially here, um, I thought about a couple different options, and if I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to put a poll on the screen for all, like, two of you that watch this episode to hopefully vote on, is um, I don't know how I want to structure this, right? So do I want to have just flat walkways that go across at the different levels? So that would probably be one, 
two, three, and four. So do I want four different levels and have them straight? Um, do I want them to kind of like vary in height a little bit, right? So this would kind of dip down and go up and make it look a little more rough, like maybe the mountainside was, was kind of that way and we built into it. I mean, technically we're building into it now. These, these kind of shelves are already there, but it, it looks a little pre-planned, you know what I mean? And, um, or um, do I want to do something totally different, right? Like, do I want to have, like, different bridges and stairways going around and then just have, like, little pockets, right? So there wouldn't be, like, a defined walkway going across, but rather there would be, like, an opening here with, like, a little cliff that is kind of like the entryway into it and then steps that lead to that or a bridge that leads to that. Um, it would definitely be a lot more walking around to get to stuff, but I don't, I don't know. I think it could look cool. So... Um, those should be the three options you see in the poll. Option number one is uh, just the flat uh, cliff surfaces. It'll make it really organized and easy to put all my different rooms into different areas of the base. Um, and it would just kind of, it would look natural in a Minecraft way because the cliff, the cliff base is already there. Um, should I vary the, oh god, I'm going to die. Uh, should I uh, vary the heights a little bit and kind of make it look a little bit more organic? Or... Um, should I do the little pockets and have it um, look, have, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it, but it just a, kind of a cool look of just being like little pockets that go into the rooms individually, but no defined way to just run across from one to the next. Instead, I'd have bridges and stairways and stuff that lead to them, and it would look a little bit more disorganized, but maybe it look a, also a little bit more lived in, um, or, or I guess natural in, in a real world sense, maybe. And then... Here is my carrot. Oh, okay. We got a lot of farming to do here. So I got my carrot farm going here. Um, I'm sure this will be another source of villager trading, uh, maybe an emergency food source. Um, but I did get all of this going pretty quickly, as you can see. Um, there's a village. Actually, it's the uh, the end village. It's not too far away from my base. It's probably about maybe 600, 800 blocks away or so. Uh, once I get connected up in the nether, it's not that far at all. Like, I'll be able to probably see it from my nether portal, the nether portal that connects up to the end. So that's pretty convenient that we can get there really quick. Now, I'm not going to do all of these on camera right now. Let's just go ahead and get everything planted so we can start growing. Da -da -da, there we go. Uh, definitely an automated carrot farm is one of the things I want to do pretty soon. That's why I'm concerned about the village being close. I can just go over there and um, hopefully not have too hard of a time transferring um, a couple villagers over here. Uh, set up a little mini breeder. That way we can get the uh, villagers going. Um, I haven't really found um, any more diamonds. I haven't gone looking yet, but we did a chance a couple tools. So we got our first uh, diamond pickaxe here. It's unbreaking three and fortune two. And I know where to get mending for it, so I'll go do that at some point. And then got a shovel as well. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that's... We're probably going to go ahead and wrap up the episode now. Um, the next thing I'll do, and we'll kind of start off next episode, hopefully, with a few more diamond tools. And um, I think the next step of the project is to set up a couple of the farms. Maybe we'll widen these pathways, and I'll just make them kind of flat for now. And then um, if I get some kind of feeling or or get some votes one way or the other. I can I can change it up to kind of match what you know whatever we all decide. But for now, it'd just be nice to be able to kind of traverse back and forth, and we'll get our couple farms, our first couple farms set up, and and yeah, we'll start feeling like we're really doing something in the game right now. We'll probably get we probably get a couple of these both these spawners going too, at least a skeleton one. I'm I'm mostly concerned with that, and uh, maybe at some point soon we'll get the spider one going as well. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a wrap here, guys. I do appreciate you joining on my first episode. Um, hopefully there will be many more. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the video and the channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a good day. Goodbye.